Paul said, yes, I'll join. Paul had to get permission from his dad because his, every guy's dad at that time wanted them to go into an electrician or a business or yes, absolutely. work for the government. Or I think something. Paul was going to be a teacher. George was going to be the electrician. Right, right. And Ringo wanted to move to uh, Texas <laughs> and become a Texan, which is part of where Ringo came from. Not only did he wear the rings, but you know, if you think back to American Westerns, Ringo, 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 that's part of sure, where the yeah. name came from, from Richie. And, and for the Beatles, though, um, and for John and Paul getting together at this early age, they started to, well, they were both very tied in with their mothers, obviously, and they both had tragic situations happen, and it, I, that kind of bonded them in, in a sad way. It but definitely it bonded them. When John was 17, see, in the beginning, uh, Julia was kind of a free spirit, and she made a couple of questionable choices in her boyfriend's slash husband's. Uh, John's husband disappeared. I mean, John's father disappeared. And uh, when he was 17, he was living with Mimi, but he happened to be at Julia's house that night, and Julia was visiting her older sister, Mimi, Mary Elizabeth, Mimi. Um, and coming home that night, it was a summer night, she crosses the street, and lo and behold, gets hit and killed instantly by an off-duty policeman. And uh, one of John's friends saw it happen. And went yeah and went and told him about it. it and john was just devastated and he i don't think he ever recovered from it and in fact so much that he ended up singing his pain out in song yeah julia julia ocean child calls me so i sing a song of love for julia and paul's mother happened to be a nurse she would deliver babies and she had how ironic because linda mccartney if you think of that she had some form of cancer and when Paul was 14, she died. And so Paul's dad, Jim, brought up the two boys, uh, Paul and, of course, Michael. Um, so they had this similar situation that, yes, they did bond from that. And also, didn't, didn't Paul end up doing a song for his mother later on? I mean, well, in the roundabout kind of way, right? Yeah, well, he did, a, he did a few songs. Well, should I jump on this one? Sure, you know yeah. This one. Here, hold this for a second, Joe. Um, you might remember this one. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. You remember that one? Yeah, it was, it was a kind of a vision from a dream that his mother had come back and said, Paul, it's going to be all right, let it be. And at that time, they, they both had like little bits of songs around that they were starting to be influenced and to write uh, some of the very early stuff. So did they start playing songs for each other and decide that they're going to write together at that John time? John and Paul would slack off from school, as they called it, and they'd go to uh, Jim McCartney's house. And Paul would have a notebook. And he'd, Paul was very fastidious in detail. He'd write everything down, you know. And they would literally be nose to nose in the early days, you know, writing you know, some, some of the first songs. And they became writers for other people. They, they, they thought even as a group, you might be popular for two or three years, and then it's all over. And then what are you going to do? But they both had this passion and this perfect fit with each other. I mean, you know, the yin and the yang of it all. These two guys, you know, Gemini and a Libra together, and uh, one's strength was the other's weakness, but together they were just an unbeatable thing. You know, like they write for uh, Billy J. Kramer, you know, if you ever leave me, I'd be sad and blue. Don't you ever leave me, I'm so in love with you. The birds in the sky would be sad and lonely if they knew that I lost my one and only. They'll be glad you're not bad. And Billy J. Kramer actually ended up being uh, managed by the same management. Brian down, Epstein down took Billy when Brian first came to America to plot out what was going to be their takeover of the United States. He actually brought Billy with him that first time. I don't know if mm -hmm. anybody knew that. but uh, And uh, Billy's a great guy. I mean, you know, he's wide open. He loves to tell the story. And he's right. still trying to figure out who the heck he is. Because in those days, you know, being a teenager, and then you're, you're traveling with the Beatles. And John and Paul are writing songs for you. Amazing. You can even imagine that.